So now the cross country cool down. And the first question is, do we keep riding or do we jump off and wash off the horse? What is gonna impact that decision, Anna? Well, that's a difficult one. I should think that it all depends on the type of course, as to say, the terrain, was it really hilly, upside down and very demanding? On the length of the course, the intensity of the course, the outside temperature too is important. So if it's like, you know, hot four star, five star, you should really just jump off and ice the, the horse. Whereas on lower classes, what's important is that you keep on trotting so that the horse catches his breath back progressively. So the idea is that if you're jumping like a hundred class, you should trot like three to five minutes, then novice is five to seven. And then after that, it, it's roughly seven to nine minutes, which is enough. Another way to assess this, but it's way more difficult, that's what the vets say, is that when the body temperature is under 40 degree, you should trot. When the body temperature is over 40 degree, you should ice. So we found that in my experience being in Tokyo, somewhere like that, it was very hot. Uh, so the first thing we did was we actually, we, we got off the horse and we started cooling the horse because cooling was going to be more important um, than, than continuing to trot off the horse. So cooling, we've got to get the cold water on and then we're scraping it off. We're not going to leave it on there for too long. Yes, because the horse's body, like we said, is hot. So if you put cold water in a hot body, the water is hot. So you put that cold water, scrape it down immediately and then put some more cold water until it's actually cooled down. Perfect. Then that brings us into our after competition care, post cross country. We're gonna bring the horse back to the stables, back to the lorry. We're gonna be thinking mainly about their legs. That's the first thing, keeping yes. those cool. Yes, so there again, you are using ice to keep those legs, you are using clay. If you're using clay, once the clay has dried out, there's no point to leave it. It's just like having cake dirt on your body. So you should wash it off. And then we have the problem about drinking. Horse have to drink after such a long effort. And sometimes horses won't drink. So little trick is either to give them vegetables or fruits with a lot of water in it, like watermelon. They actually love watermelon. Or what I used to do when I was eventing was to make some sort of a soup. I used to say I filled the bucket with water and in that bucket I put a lot of pieces of vegetables and fruit and the horse had to go in the bucket to pick that up and they were drinking at the same time. There you go, that's how you get your horse drinking. And then cooling the legs, don't let those legs warm up too much. Cool them, then let them breathe and then cool them again. Yeah, and keep the body warm, which is not hot, but just keep the body warm because warm muscles will recover better than cold muscles. Have the horse graze after, because when they are grazing, actually it's natural attitude. They have the head down, the neck stretch, which is good. And then there's something that's very important, and I totally agree with you, which is? Let them sleep. Let that's them simple. sleep. It's an important part of the recovery. You've got to, yeah, your, your care comes to an end and you've got to let them get a good night's sleep as well. Uh, and then you can look after them the next day.